Hi, it's Valerie again from Free Digital Planning by Be Hopeful. Um, <clears throat> now we're back to our regular format where everything is locked and ready to go for the tabs. So what I'm going to do first is um, I want to match my tab colors up with the colors on the side. Um, if you don't want to, you can use just standard black, standard white, whatever color you want. I want to match it up. So I'm going to go to the plus side. I'm going to choose what shape I want to use for my tab. I am going to use the rounded square. Now, with the rounded square highlighted, I'm going to go to um, the paintbrush at the top, then style, then fill. I'm going to go over and I am going to select at the bottom the little dropper. It's in a circle. And I am going to select the color I want to duplicate. So I want to duplicate this um, this uh, green, or I guess it's a blue. I want to duplicate that one. So now I have my color. Then I'm going to copy that square. I'm going to come down here in the left hand corner, click on that plus. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and grab the white that has no rating on it. I'm going to use this as my editing page. Um, <clears throat> it's just easier. So paste my block. Now um, what I'm going to do is I am going to size it the way I want it. Not too small because you got to remember when you size it with the page it's going to shrink anyways. So um, there's my square. You can go in, you could put a border on it. I don't want one. You could put a shadow on it. I do want a shadow because it makes the, the tabs look wisdom as well. And I think that's a neat effect. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the shadow. So now that I have the size I want, I'm going to copy. Oh wait, you know what? You see that little green dot? Let's round these off. Well, I'm going to round mine off. You don't have to. Now I'm going to select it and then copy it. Then I'm going to paste six times. Now this is if you want to do the 12 month planner, which I'm going to do so that I can show you a couple of things. And then I'm going to select them and slide them over and they kind of lock into each other. Um, just make sure they're not overlapping because sometimes you can run into problems when you go to link them for them to be interactive tabs. So oops, just allow them to lock into one another and this takes practice. Um, so now that they're all locked, <clears throat> I'm going to make another set. Paste another set of six. And the reason I do this um, in two separate is because obviously they're way too big to, um, you know, connect them all at once. And this is just how I do it. If you find a better way to do it, go for it. And this also allows me if I want to do alternating colors or, you know, anything like that. Um, okay, so now they're all selected, or now they're all done. I'm going to select the top one, and then with my other finger, highlight all of them. So you hold down with one finger, and then you highlight them with the other finger. Just select them individually. And then I'm going to hit group. Now they're all one big group. I'm going to do the same with this side. Now group. Now what I want to do is turn it. So I'm going to put one finger on the top, the other finger on the bottom, whoops, and turn. So it does take two hands, at least for me. Um, and then I'm going to turn, oops, turn this one. And then I'm going to lock them in together. So now they're connected. So in order to group the whole line, I'm going to hold this one and select that one. And then I'm going to group. Now they're all one big happy family. 
So now it's time to scale. I grab the corner so that they scale properly. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to select it, copy it, come in here, and paste it. Now, obviously, it's a lot smaller than what it needs to be, so I'm going to scale and make it fit. Now, if you want it to touch the corners, that's up to you. If you, you know, want it like this, that's up to you. This is this is what's so fun about it. You do what you want. It's yours, you know. Um, so once you get it placed, go up to the paintbrush, and you're gonna go to the arrange, and you're gonna make it move from front to back. Um, so that's how far my mine are gonna stick out. I think I'm okay with that. No, it's too short. I like them. Decisions. I think I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, so that's my first round of tabs. And like I said, if you don't like the shadow effect, because see how it kind of looks like they're risen low, risen low, don't put the shadow effect on them if you don't like that. I like that. Um, so now I'm going to copy this square again, go back here, paste it, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put my shadows back on. Like I said, you don't have to. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller, copy, and I'm going to paste, um, let's say, three times because these tabs are going to go on the other side. Oh, did you fall off it? Locking it. Okay. Lock them in. Now, hold them down. Highlight. Group. Take two fingers. Turn. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to turn. I forgot. I actually need it in this direction. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to round them off. Our group. So I'll take this one and I'll round him off. Yeah. And then I'm going to copy, paste, paste. <laughs> Wait, something's not working. Okay. Now I'm going to hold them, group, copy, paste. Oh, that's not what those were. Okay. So I'm going to downsize them a little bit. Oops. Oops. And I'm going to put them right there. And then, you know, you just got to go up to the paintbrush and make sure they're aligned properly and they're right. So that is how, geez, I'm having a lot of whoops. Um, that is how you insert your tabs. So on the next video, I'm going to show you how to make them interactive and how to insert the other pages that you're going to need to do this. So see you in the next one.